Now this is the moment when I'm supposed to give you a small message. Now actually, this time, the messages are from your children. I have with me a list of messages which your children have written, because I had asked children of group A, B, C, and D to let me know if there were any points that they wanted me to say in my speech, which I should convey to parents, which they are not able to always convey to you by themselves or convincingly enough. Is as a child who writes, now I'm not going to tell you the names of the children or the age or the class in which they are, but these messages, believe me, are from your children. My mother treats our servant like a slave. Another child in another class says, most of the women in my family treat servants as untouchables. Now, this sort of messages come because we keep talking to children constantly about the importance of uh, the, the individual human being. Whether, if the person is a servant, it's probably because the person needs to work in somebody's house to feed her children. It's poverty that drives them to do these things. And in our country, our Minimum Wages Act do not provide sufficiently well for domestic servants. The Minimum Wages Act for all unskilled labor is supposed to be 4,600 rupees per month. Now, this is a point I think we all should just remember. It's important to remember that servants are also human beings. Now, that apart. A child says, please tell my parents to buy books for me. I do watch TV, but I'm more interested in reading. Now, this is very interesting. You see, children do get to watch TV a lot. But here is a child who says that I do watch TV. Uh, probably the child has no other alternative. And I would like to have books. Please make them buy books for me. I keep telling parents. See, if you can afford it financially, books are expensive. But if you can financially afford it, and I, and I know that most of our parents can afford it. If you can afford it, I want you to spend at least 500 rupees a month per child on books. 500 rupees every month for each child. That should be the budget that you set aside. Of course, I, there is a condition to it, that is, if you can comfortably afford it financially. Children want to read, we encourage them to do so, we make them read our library books, but can you also add to that effort by getting them books constantly? Buy a book for everything that the child does. For every important occasion, buy a book as a gift. For a birthday, give a book as a gift. If a child scores good marks in an exam, buy a book as a gift. Let a visit to a bookshop be a compulsory activity of the family. In fact, I say every Saturday, either the father or, father or the mother should be in a bookshop with the child. Let the children choose. Children can choose their books, what they want, from the time they are five years old. They can. They have the ability to do so. You don't have to choose books for them all the time. Here's another one which says, my parents buy me books, but they prefer only knowledge books, not story books or novels. Now, this is true. I know this is true because, see, when we give them prizes, we, it, it's a mix of um, classics, other interesting story books, puzzle books. Um, there are uh, 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 knowledge books as well. But children, uh, a lot of children like knowledge books. But a large number of children like to read the good stories that are available. And there is plenty of good fiction available. I want children to read all the children's classics. I keep on telling them this. That is the, the basic authors. What, what most of you have read uh, up to class 5 or class 4 from what you call the GICs, the Great Illustrated Classics. See, there are about 48, 50 titles in those. You have to, by the time you come to class 7, class 8, you should be reading those books in the original. Those books must be read in the original because those are books which contain a tremendous amount of thinking skills available in them. You will develop your thinking ability only if you read. I hope all the children understand this. If you do, please say, yes, I do. 
little louder and clearer yes. that's good so i want you to remember that the classics are important well you can read harry potter for as much as you want to but do read the classics they are important for you please tell my parents about the importance of the computer and the necessity of the internet another one says please explain to my parents in a fascinating way that the internet is useful please change their minds now there are lots of parents uh, and by the way this uh, request for internet has come from a lot of children and i have just chosen two simple messages which give you a summary of the whole thing please remember in fact south korea is able to boast of young children up to the age of 6 uh, with the highest level of intelligence in the world the largest number and the highest level of intelligence because every child has access to internet almost from the time they are born and don't think that the internet is only a bad thing there are a lot of bad things on the internet and our children know it in fact it is only those children who are having access to their computers and their and the internet without supervision of parents who have accounts on stuff like facebook facebook is a waste of time children who have, if you are spending time on that it's all right to have an account in order to get in touch with somebody you need to from time to time but to be constantly exchanging messages on uh, social networks like this is not all right for small school children not up to the class of 10 11 12 probably not till you finish your high school so avoid using things like that you know what to do with the internet it's the, the world's greatest treasure house of knowledge which was not available when i was a little boy i only had encyclopedias and only in the school library i had a single volume encyclopedia at home although my father said i'll buy anything for you where books are concerned i didn't know that we could afford to buy a multi volume encyclopedia set maybe he, they could not do it at that time here's a request from another child every parent should give their child one puzzle or crossword every weekend my parents emphasize my on my working for my exams but they do not encourage me to learn a poem for the recitation competition please explain the difference and he underlines the one part of the message which says if possible please teach parents also to recite poems that i thought was very interesting so this means that parents have to take a little more interest in some of these things children have to learn how to recite poetry a majority of our schools are not doing anything about this a majority of our schools don't teach them uh, public speaking properly all of these are important things it's not enough if we only train them for an examination and leave them examinations apart children have to grow in their intellect their personality their abilities their understanding of a lot of things and the reading has to be very very wide i hope all of you children are paying attention to what i am saying see the, the importance of poetry recitation the importance of the game that you play a jam now but these things are important for you will realize this later in fact i have messages letters from my old students constantly saying even a game like jam has had a very positive effect on the child here's a child who says my parents watch television in my presence and so i am also tempted to watch it what am i to do no my advice is the television is for adults let your parents watch as much as they want their intelligence cannot be affected that is because their intelligence stopped growing at the age of 18 and 20 your intelligence is still growing you are still developing and the television a major part of what the tv gives you is just poison so keep off television okay and if your parents are watching it you don't have to sit with them you have other things to do you have books to read you have puzzles to solve you have um, uh, crosswords to compile on your own you can do a lot of other things and no intelligent child can ever say i get bored don't say that because when you say i get bored that means you are not an intelligent child that means you are not able to think your brains your mind should be company for you when exams are on the way 
they don't let me come to the genius and this is very unfair now yes this is very very true i in fact at the time of admission i keep telling parents please ensure that your child has one hour of study time faithfully religiously sincerely every day whether the child has homework or no homework whether the child has a test or no test the child must have one hour of study time that one hour must be sacred you don't even have to entertain visitors during that one hour your child should be separate somewhere sitting and study he has to go through what has been done in school he has to go through what he has to do tomorrow day after the next he must have his plans ready for the for the future and therefore if a child is preparing i would prefer that these children stop talking don't keep talking there if you don't if you are getting bored with what i am saying then don't listen to me but don't talk thank you yeah, yeah you see because the genius is for one hour during the children's play time it is in the evening that is not study time and stop stopping them from the genius during your final examinations or during your tests during your competitions is it necessary is it because your child is so weak that he won't be able to get through the examination if he comes and attends the genius and sharpens his brain a little more so let is are you going to make him get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and study till 11 o'clock at night during examination time only i think this is not right in fact i know families where they wrap up a television set in a blanket and put it away in a corner during aajkal exam chal rahe hain to tv nahi dekh rahe bachche bachche it's not right if you, if, you, if they've got something good to watch i want them to watch tv also i want children to watch news i used to say watch news for 20 minutes a day but i think now you'll have to cut that down because on news channels we are getting nothing we are getting nonsense on news channels i think again it's about films or it is about corruption yes this reminds me of one point i must tell you this is not from your children and this says you see we live in a country that is very very corrupt the entire society in india the levels of corruption have got, reached their peak it's like a cancer in society there is no party that is absolutely clean there, uh, there is uh, there are corruption charges against everybody around every party every group and i must tell you parents have to ensure that your children are protected from this kind of a society in fact exposure to this is not good they must learn that honesty is the right policy honesty is the only way if um, if parents pay their taxes honestly talk about it proudly to your friends and talk to your children about it your children should know if you are an honest tax payer but it is evasion of taxes it is creation of black money in fact when you pay your fees to the genius please pay by check i hate touching dirty rupee notes please pay by check i would prefer that always always because i don't have a black money account everything at the genius is fully written down accounted for and tax paid against and i would prefer that every indian does this if we do this india will not be a poor country and your children will not be growing up in an atmosphere of uh, sin and crime and this kind of demand uh, what we call black money people abroad don't even understand what is black money we have colors for our money money is not worth being kept in black let it be there money should be your servant not your master money should be available to you for to buy your comfort to buy the help of somebody when you need buy education to buy books to buy a house to buy anything else so you put your money to work for you you don't work for money that is how it should be okay anyway i am not big enough to advise people uh, here we are honored today by the presence of uh, uh, his worship the mayor of uh, indore and his, uh, the wife as they had their children also studying with us i thank you very much for patiently listening to me thank you